Hello friends, welcome back again in our Excel automation tool. So in this tutorial, we are going to show a amazing SaaS facility in the user form. First of all, we are going to open this and there you can see a fantastic user form. And this is our SaaS option. In the previous our tool, we are showing one by one search, but you can see there is a multiple SaaS facility. So in this form, you can search multiple SaaS criteria wise at the same time. So also need to see our other button like you can see there is a add new button, update, delete, yeah, you already know how easy it works. So you can see also the refresh button, download button, exit button. And also you can see there is the minimize and maximize and that means you can require the form resizable. So first of all, we are going to see how this button is working and this is our product name like you can use enter the product. And also this is for your style, just your example. And this is our drop down list. So, this is you can see. And after all the required field input, uh, you can see there is a add new button. So, do you want to add? Okay. So, I want to add data information, information added successfully. So, if you want to edit anything, just click there and data will be shown there. So, you can change anything. And after changing your completed data, you can update your data okay also as usual you can delete anything just double click here and delete so okay do you want to delete okay i want to delete this there and also you can just clear all the information just use the clear button okay so now we are going to search our data as per multiple subscriber wise just you just need to see there is a product and also the product name okay i am just click the product okay so you can see only the product criteria wise data is showing and also you can see there is also the product type so just i want to type so that you can see this is was type so there is a multiple criteria that is product product and type wise data will be show there and after as per your requirement as data showing you can download it and if you want to download it so report download successfully so also you can see there is a resizable button for example i just need to some tiny small size then it, this will be tiny small size also you can resize the user form so now we want to see how this code is we are managing i am closing this and go to the view code and there is you can see data entry sheet and support sheet so there is you can see home data entry sheet and support sheet and this is for drop down list if you want to change anything and just input this and it, this will be shown in the drop down list okay and go to the form and go to the add new button so there is add new double click there so this is our add new option and also all clear and this is user form resizable so we are using this code add so this is for our drop down list and this is for valid entry validation and also this is we are using for all our entry insert in the database sheet okay so the next thing is update button so double click there you can see there is the update data for module is calling also all clear and user from initialize module is calling so for the for update button you just go to the update module and there you can see this is our update sub function and as for module we are using for data updating okay also we are go to the delete button okay you can see this is our delete data so we are going to our delete module and here we are using this simple code for delete any information from the data entry sheet okay so this is the thing how we are managing the multiple criteria wise data searching so for example we just click there input then this call is data list box field list call so just you need to go to the search and this is the list box field so this function wise we are just searching our all data at the same time okay also when you click the any data just individual search click then it's called to the search button so that you can see individual search click okay you can see there and there is the last thing is refresh so you already know and there is a download button so when data entry sheet export just go to the download then this code you can see for data download so this is very simple way and you can customize as per your requirement as also we can support you so you can find this in our download of platform to our excel automation tool and there you can see there's a lots of tool so you can use as per your 
requirement wise and that's all and uh, thank you very much please subscribe to our channel as well as you can buy me coffee and see you in the next tutorial thank you